Let's talk about Shut Up and Write the Book by Jenna Moresi. Hi guys, I'm Marilene and welcome back to my channel. I apologize for my voice sounding a bit weird. Still struggling with that summer flu and yes, summer because I am in South Africa. So we're just transitioning from summer to autumn. So before we dive into the review today, I wanted to give you kind of a bit of an overview of what these book reviews will look like. So I will mostly be doing fiction reviews. So I have specific categories that I will look at with all of the books I read and I'll give them star ratings in terms of each of those categories and then add up to get the average star rating of the book overall. However, those categories make sense for fiction books. They don't necessarily make sense for a writing craft book and so today's review will be quite short and straight to the point. Now with that out of the way, let's get into what I thought about Shut Up and Write the Book. So I received an e-arc of the book for review and I received a PDF version and I decided that I was going to print it out. So this is what my copy <laughs> looks like. Um, it's obviously not nicely bound in the book form, but that didn't really matter to me. In fact, it was actually quite nice because it felt like I was almost studying in a way because that's how I would usually study and print outs and highlighting. And I highlighted the absolute crap out of this. I was actually blown away by how good this book is. I had high expectations because I'm a really big fan of Jaina's YouTube channel and she gives out all of this writing advice and so I was thinking, okay, well, this book has to be amazing and it exceeded those high expectations. It has everything you need to craft a well-written book. And I'm talking everything. It starts at how to come up with an idea for a book, how to outline, how to use plot structures, characters, world building, writing the first chapter, setting the scene, how to break your story up into chapters, genres, self-editing, critique partners and beta readers, the professional edit, when to know that your book is finished. All of that is packed into one book and it honestly has all of the information that I would want in there. If I were to write a writing craft book, this is the information that I would want to put in there and more. And I honestly don't know how she packs all of that into one book. What this book doesn't cover is the marketing and publishing aspects. And I completely understand that. Jenna says in her introduction that she would need an entire book to talk about those aspects. And I really, really hope that she will write and publish a book like that as well. But in terms of this, like I said, I'm really blown away by just how good it is. Like I said, I highlighted the crap out of it. I don't know if you can see, but like almost every line is highlighted, which kind of defeats the point of highlighting, but everything was just so good. And it's written with Jaina's voice. So if you like her YouTube channel, so you like the advice that she gives, the kind of guidance that she uh, provides, as well as her, you know, witty remarks, her sarcasm, her straightforwardness. This is that times 10. So none of the great humor and witty remarks and plain language straightforwardness gets lost in this book. So it gives you everything you need, but in a very straightforward, understandable way, and also in a way that's fun to read. So this book is informative and it's a craft book, but it's also super fun to read just because of Jaina's voice. And the other thing that I was concerned about going into reading this book was that I am a bit of an in-between between a plotter and a pantser. So plotter, you know, plotting out everything that happens in the book versus pantser, flying by the seat of your pants and just kind of a discovery writer writing as you go along without an outline. And I'm kind of somewhere in the middle and I know that Jenna's advice usually goes to quite stringent outlining. Um, her advice is very much applicable to plotters. And so I was afraid that going into this book, that would be very much the focus and that it would be a very rigid kind of, you need to do it this way, otherwise your book won't be good kind of thing. But that wasn't the case at all. Yes, she does advocate for outlining, but she creates 
a method of outlining that could work for even pantses, where it's literally just maybe even bullet points. So she does provide that flexibility where she can still give you advice for whatever method works for you. And she definitely leaves room for whatever works for each individual author. However, she explains the structure of story and how you can use that to create whatever form of outline works for you, no matter how basic or how detailed your outline is. And I found that absolutely amazing. And throughout this book, that remains a theme that, you know, this is the way I do it and this is what I would recommend, but you need to adapt it to what works for you, which I think is the best way to go about writing advice always because everyone's writing is different and everyone's process is different. It's an art form as much as it is just a craft or a skill. The other thing that is amazing about this book is that it has a list of resources at the back. So all of the resources that are mentioned in the book and a few more are kind of added in the back so you can go and see which apps or books or reference works, whatever you can use for even more information and to get these things done. So yeah, I really think that this book is a gem for all writers. Well, I'd say if you write genre fiction novels, full books, then this book is for you and I would really recommend that you go buy it. It. I'm usually very hard on writing advice books because I give writing advice myself and, you know, it does, it's very subjective things. So it's difficult to get a writing advice book right for everyone. And so I am really incredibly impressed by what Jenna created in this one book. It's it's really amazing. And if I taught creative writing as a course, this would be the book that I prescribed. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just blown away by how amazing of a guide this book is. I will definitely be going back to mine as a reference throughout the process of creating my next book. And... For all of these reasons, I give Shut Up and Write the Book by Jenna Morrissey five stars. I hope you enjoyed that review of Shut Up and Write the Book, my first book review of 2023 with many more to come. And if you want a book that employs most of the advice in this book and is just an all around good example of great writing, check out my fantasy action adventure novel for adults called To Wear a Crown. The link is in the description box below. You can also find me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. All the links are listed below. And you can also find me on my website. Link also below. Also, I will be sending out much more regular newsletters. So if you want all of those updates, be sure to sign up link below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you never miss an upload. I'll see you next time. Bye!